What's up everyone, I'm Dr. Jacob Wilson. Today's topic is why you should fast at least 12 hours. Now a lot of people are going like, fast 12 hours? I can't grow if I'm fasting. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, so I'm gonna get into that real quick, but before I do, hey, if you like this content, or if it's your first time in the channel and you watch the video, you're like, I, you know, I benefited from that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. A lot of people are like, hey, how can I support the channel? One of the best ways you can support the channel is share this video with your friends, get the message out there, um, hit that subscribe button, and if you want notifications, smack that notification bell. So let's get back to this topic. If I were to ask you guys, how long should you sleep? What'd you, what would you say? You'd probably say, well, at least eight hours, right? You know, no, no less than six to eight hours. And actually studies show that for athletes, um, sleep's the number one thing you can do to repair and that you need anywhere from eight to 10 hours. So no one has a problem with that, right? But a lot of people are like, oh my God, fast for 12 hours, can't do that, no way, I'm, I, I'm trying to grow, no, 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 I'm an athlete. Okay, now hear me out for a second. What are you doing when you're sleeping? You're repairing things. Your brain is repairing, your digestive tract is repairing, you're going through a lot of things where you're cleaning out the system. Sleep is a very important restorative process that we need. If you only slept four hours a day, how long do you think you would live? Probably not very long. How well do you, would you think you'd recover? Not very long. Why do you think it's different with your digestive tract? Well, you go, well, I don't understand. If I sleep nine hours, is in my digestive tract sleep nine hours? Or right after I eat? The answer is no, okay? Because when we stop eating, it takes anywhere from five to six hours to fully digest and assimilate that meal. So think about this for a second, okay? Statistics show that in the United States, the majority of people eat for a 15 to 16 hour feeding period, okay? So let's say that I ate for a 15 hour feeding period or a 16 hour feeding period. Now let's say it takes five to six hours for me to digest my food. So let's do the math here. 16 hours, five hours to digest and assimilate everything, right? That means that's 21 hours of the day my digestive tract's in some way working. How long is it sleeping? Three hours, three hours. What do you think that's gonna do for your health? What do you think that's gonna do for your longevity? The number one thing that we see in studies is they'll look at different fasting periods. They look at a 12 hour fasting period. They look at 16 hour fasting period, a 20 hour fasting period. And that sweet spot for living longer, being healthier, recovering more seems to be around 12 hours for general overall health. And guys, last I checked, being healthy makes me respond to training that much more. So, and everyone's like, oh my God, no, but I can't go. Yes, you can. If you stopped eating at nine and start eating the next day at nine, you really think that's gonna stop your anabolism? No, because again, you're digesting that meal for five or six hours anyway, right? So that means in general, your digestive tract, if you're fasting for eight hours, might sleep around eight hours, right? Seven or eight hours, which is at minimum what it needs for general health, recovery, restoration, longevity, both in your athletic career and in life. So that's my overall thoughts on this. Now we're gonna get more into this. One thing Fernando goes is, hey, why don't we answer the question, should you eat every two hours? Now some of you are gonna go, oh, he's in intermittent fasting. He didn't think you should, well, wait a second now. I'm gonna talk about it next time. I'm gonna answer that question because the answer to your question could be yes, could be no. We're gonna talk about it next time. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.